morning. Uh, gonna try to do something different today. Doing a vlog. Uh, I am going to Chicago today to record some music. Uh, yeah, I figured I'd, uh, I don't know, video the journey. Just woke up. Uh, about to go take Vince on a walk real quick. And then, uh, yeah, about to head out. Let's do this. Just got done with uh, taking the kids out, fed, feeding them. Now I gotta jump in the shower. Yes, you see me half naked. I gotta, I'm kind of like in a rush and shit like that. Plus, I kind of want to show my body. Man, I'm not even that level of skinny and shit. All right, y'all, I just got out of the shower. I'm about to just fucking, I, I gotta get going. So uh, I think you'll see me in the car next, and then, yeah, I'm out. So the number one thing I do before I go on any trip is I make sure that my car is, like, good to go because I've been stranded before out there. It sucks, and uh, I, I should have been well prepared. But I got AAA now, which y'all should definitely get, and then usually get, like, a roadside emergency, some blankets and shit, you know, just, you know, just because you don't want to get stuck out there, man. I, it's, it's trash. It really is. So, uh... Yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, shop Chicago. Let's do this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I need to do this. All right, here you go. There's a couple of treats in the okay, blah, blah. I left the fan on for you. All right? You don't get too hot in there. You shouldn't be hot. The hot's are pretty much too cold. Cool. Just stay safe. Okay, my bubbly? Okay? Don't get people where I can see you here soon, okay? The shield's going to be here soon, and then Shelby's going to come check you out. Okay, blah, blah. All right, and you don't bother him, all right? The hardest part every single time is leaving and leaving again. Gotta go. Stop. I got a little mic in. I guess we got some Chick fil A. The reason I'm going is actually a couple reasons. Um, the big reason is because of, uh, well, I'm actually going to go, go down there and uh, record some music. Uh, you know, music has been a very big outlet for me these last couple of months. And I've always, you know, I've always did musical stuff. You know, back in the day, back, you know, and all that craziness. But, uh, you know, I've ne you know, when I, Join my other channel. I just kind of like lost touch with it a little bit because you know you got we got really really caught up in it all. But yeah, and also the, another reason I'm going to Chicago as well, a because of all well, we almost got some therapy. Uh, so yeah, therapy is the another reason why I'm going there. Uh, so I had this like weird love hate relationship with Chicago, as I would say, because uh, like when I when I used to live there, you know, I, I things. Things seemed a certain way, and it made me very, very happy, you know, because it, it just seemed a certain way. But, like, as time has progressed, and I found a lot of things, that, it's just not my same home that it used to be. It just, it, it, it kind of, I mean, I hate to say it feels like a sham in a little bit, in a, in a way. But I still have this love for Chicago, because if it wasn't for Chicago, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now with, you know, my house, you know, my, my, my dog, and everything that I have. Even you guys, you know, it's kind of crazy. So, uh... You know, that's my whole love-hate with it. And also, you know, again, like I said, I'm going there for therapy because... So, you know, last time I went, when I was on the sabbatical, I, I, I actually met a very awesome therapist in Chicago. And to be honest, she was... You know, it, it kind of sucks because, like, my, my therapy went to shit because I, I had more bullshit happen in Chicago that just didn't help with my therapy. But it was kind of crazy. You know, before that bullshit happened with my therapist, she was really making some good headway with me, I felt like, you know? And uh, I hit her back up after, you know, a lot of crazy shit happened. And uh, we've had a couple of sessions. They've been nothing but, I mean, amazing. It's, it's crazy, man. You know, I found out that therapists, you know, have therapists. You know, it's like we're all in fucking therapy in a weird way, you know. It's just like, I feel like we're all, I mean, not all of us are depressed, but like, you know, I feel like we're all a little bit down. It's kind of crazy. And we, yeah. Uh, so, you know. Watch Ted Lasso. By the way, Ted Lasso was another big like proponent in me to just be like, "Yo, let's 
jump back into this shit, you know? Let's take care of our mental health. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, all right, back on the road, guys. A uh, little pit stop. Just wanted to talk a little bit, and, uh, yeah. One of us should be following Yo, yo, so, hey, we just got to the studio. My boy Sam right here. What's up, y'all? He is a genius when it comes to the beat making and putting music together. Uh, if you guys listen to any of Mikey's music, he is a genius behind all the beat making and all that craziness. He kills it. So I am hoping that he makes me sound decent and I don't sound like trash or... It's a transition. It's I wrote this all for the heater. I told you already. Yeah, have you shown it to him yet? Yeah, he's it. He's producing and he's fighting and you pulling in the vine. I'm not even trying to fight again. Oh, damn, that shit sounds surprising. I'm really liking him. Everyone asked, was it her or was it me? Well, you know, I gave my love. It was her who couldn't see. I was the honey pot. Shiny was nothing more than a bee. Whether she knew or not, she was mistrusting love with a king. This is infuriating. Hate you so much that I'm sick of hating. And if we do relate, Fuck the situation. You lost all of my trust, but trust that I hope you make it. the pattern just keep working and beating until you get through that you get through that wall because what's crazy is, is every time you get through a wall you realize there's another one once you get through that one. you could have worked hard as fuck and realized like damn i worked all this time to get through a wall just to feel realize there's another one waiting for me and like you just keep beating through them because life is about all of the walls it never will stop Fuck. Real people want to say it. Like we're, we're all crazy. Like they never will stop. It's always going to be another wall on the other side of, the other side of that wall. Like, you got to keep beating them down. How long you played Trump before? Like 15 years. Yeah. 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 This, this is what he's the goal This is how he's at. Yeah. Yeah. This is what he's the goal at. Like, this is what he's so like you went from that to producing and shit, right? Yeah, I, pl I, I play piano and guitar, and so like, and I sing a little bit. So, so everybody doing on these shots. I didn't. My instruments kind of kind of brought me to producing. The more instruments you Ooh. play, the more it makes yeah, sense cool. to, to be a producer. Probably be better tell them bitches to acknowledge me. Hey, never be nothing you not. You should be earning your spot. You better to find it be better, baby girl. You should try it if those guys were to eat you, be a calorie filled diet, man. Trying to reach you, even hitting you on private. Stay away. The musical process, man, this shit's crazy. All right, I just got done with the studio. Wow, I was, man, that was, that was beautiful. Looked phenomenal. All right, so I uh, got a couple things I gotta do, and then I'm headed back home. Still here in Chicago. I just left my therapy session. Uh, that was nice, it was good. Um, I don't wanna go into detail, but it was very good. Uh, you know, I, I think I've been very vocal about everybody else on here, everybody else, you know, we can afford it. I think the biggest problem with mental health and getting therapy these days is just like the access and availability to it. It's just, I feel like it's, it's just fucking shit, in my personal opinion, just how hard it is to get to it if you don't have the, the means to do so, man. Again, I'm fucking lucky that I can. I should put that. I'm very, very lucky. And, uh, and if anything, I want to say I, I thank you guys uh, for your support of me all over these last couple of years because your support has led me to this point and allowed me to get therapy. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, I'm not excited, but I'm ready for more of my sessions to and, and more of to. I mean, I've already figured out. I mean, I figured out what's wrong with me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not figured out a... Because I don't think there's really a cure to mental health and illness, to be honest. Like, there really isn't a cure. It's just, like, you just kind of learn how to deal with, you know, the whole situation in general. You know, you just kind of know how to, like, just live with it. 
hope you guys can see me and everything, all that stuff, you know? And uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. It's like, you just, I don't think you ever kind of like ever get over it, you know? You just kind of like, all right, yeah, I'm here. You know, I've, I've dealt with it. I've gotten better. I feel good. I feel amazing, you know? I mean, you don't feel amazing, you just feel better. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been so far a good trip. So right now I'm actually gonna head back home. Uh, the kids have been home by themselves for a fucking minute and I feel terrible. So, uh, I mean, there have been, been people there, but I'm ready to go back home. And uh, yeah, thank you all. All right, man, I hope the lighting is good on this. So I actually did make another stop before I left. So usually when I'm in Chicago, man, I try to get some good food, bro. And like, you know, food, you know, I love fucking food. I should have done the heat nibbles on this shit, but like, yo, uh, Fatso's Last Stand is a Chicago goddamn staple. Look, you know, Chicago is known for a lot of things, but people don't understand Chicago is also known for their fucking burgers. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna scarf this down, get on the road, get back home. It's late. I feel so bad for my goddamn kids. I just got home. Uh, I, I should have definitely videotaped some of the bullshit, but uh, it was a longer drive than usual. I got home at one o'clock and I left at seven. So some bullshit's happened. That's all I gotta say. There was a lot of traffic and accidents. Fuck. But I'm home. I'm so excited to see my my, my kids. But look, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, we'll stop the vlog when we see Vinny. How about that? We'll do that. All right. Oh my God! I'm so ready to be home, guys. So ready to be home. My kids are probably like, "What the fuck?" My kids are like, "What the fuck?" There goes my first kid right here. Where are you, baby girl? Oh my gosh, my baby, my 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 mama. Baba, I'm here, bubby. Oh, I'm here, my little boy. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your day was all sucking here all day, my little boy. Oh my boy. Oh my boy. Look at this little boy. Oh my boy. I love you so much, my boy. I know, my boy. I know, my boy. I know. I know, little boy. I know, little boy. Okay, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, my little boy. All right, dudes. I think I'm in this vlog right here. I hope it's an it was I hope it was an entertaining vlog, man. Y'all kind of just saw like the whole day a little bit, you know. I just uh, say, all right, y'all. I'm out. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and uh, I'll see you maybe on another one. Vince, you want to say bye to everybody? Want to say bye to everybody? Say bye, bubble. Say bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Ash, bye, 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 bye. Yo, what up fam? Thank you for watching this vlog with me. If you guys like this, please hit that like button and comment if you would, please. If you guys want more, just be ready because I'll have tons more. I'll see y'all then. Peace.